have on you relaxed. Okay, are we in here? All right. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Dish It Out. It is your girl, I Drip Ish. I got Paulette. All right, we've been in the service industry, ooh, I'm gonna say a decade or two. <laughs> yeah, so almost 20 years for me. Yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately. I think, oh, I've known her for about 20 years. Yeah, oh, almost like 15. We were, God damn, we were young. I'm still young, don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Okay. Always young at heart. So I was thinking about, okay, let's talk about it. So everybody's always interested in what goes behind the scenes. So my thing is, if you're going to be that guest that acts like a B-I-T-C-H, something's going to happen to your food. Not saying I personally do it, no. But I've seen things done. Um, I would start off with a story time. I used to work at a famous pizza place back in the day. And the guys... This guy I worked with, his ex-girlfriend called up there and ordered a pizza, a special pizza. But guess what? She was bringing her new boyfriend. So what he decided to do was take out his special piece and put special sauce all <laughs> over the pizza. And then watched her enjoy it there. Did I say something? No, because that's not my problem. That's the pizza place's problem, okay? But that's why I say you watch who you talk to and you have to learn not to be a B-I-T-C-H at a restaurant. So what you think about it, Paulette? I agree. Ultimately, you definitely need to respect people that are handling your food. We definitely have tricks. There are things that can be done. I'm personally not one of those people because I definitely feel that way. But you should definitely, if you have been rude or disrespectful to your server, you might want to check your food once it hits the table, for sure. Okay, so how do you feel about going out with the big groups, or groups of people, and you know somebody has a mouth on them? So what do you do if somebody's running their mouth about the food and you're afraid they're going to do something to your food? Check my friend, probably, more so than anything. I think we all have at least one person in our group that will get a little over the top. I'm that person that I'm just kind of like, shut the fuck up, please, because we don't have time for any of this. Or I'm going to just pull the server to the side and say, hey, we know she a handful. We're sorry. Please don't do anything to our food. We'll take care of her later. Or that. we'll take care of you. Sometimes you are sometimes you're a difficult people. Hey, if you know you're difficult, pay what you weigh. That's another one. Pay what you weigh. Okay. I was just about to say, I pull the server to the side. I give a tip. I'm not with them. If they act a fool, don't mess with my food. I like you. I don't want to have any issues between us. Um, if you need to, I can sit at a different table and we can make it happen from there. I don't know. It just It's just being in the industry, we know taking stuff back or somebody's complaining about wings or mistake or chicken not being done enough. And they have a thing of blaming the servers like they are handling your food, which they are not. It is always a cook. An expo or the kitchen manager handling your food. It is not service at all other than bringing it to the table and dropping you with a smile and telling you to enjoy. Now, if you're going to be one of those Karens or Shanique was, <laughs> then I would say somebody will fuck with your shit. It's not really a... No, I can't get around it. People will fuck with your shit. We've seen it done. I've seen people spinning somebody's drink. But she was acting like a whole Karen, so I think she deserved it. She said the N-word, and you know what? <laughs> Some people do deserve it, not to be rude. But no, technically, I don't play with people's food because I don't want my food to be played with when I go out. So if you have one of those special friends or you're one of those people who like to pick about things and stuff, just be cautious because you never know what somebody might give you food poisoning or inject something into your food that can make you really sick. Um, anything of nature, drugs, you know, you, you see it all, especially in this type of uh, industry world. So it's definitely something to look at. People are preparing your food on a daily basis all the time. I literally, I remember one specific time there was a late order. Late orders will also affect this. Do not go to a restaurant <laughs> at the closing. At least once it's an hour to their closing time, you should never walk into a restaurant at that time. No one is going to be happy to serve you or to fix that food or to do it properly. 
I do recall a cook one time actually taking a whole steak and the way it was tenderized was by being stomped on on the floor <laughs> before it was cooked. But again, was not my table, was not my guest, not my restaurant, not my problem or business, but it does happen. So you definitely have to be cautious of how you treat people, especially people that are going to serve you your food. I mean, ultimately, I have definitely had complaints about things. I may wait till the end of the meal. I may not send it back. Hey, if, it, if I ordered it and you told me, oh, that's not the best suggestion and I ordered it anyway, definitely not gonna cause a stink, but I might say something at the end, but it'll definitely be after I finish my meal, especially if I'm gonna raise hell. Raise hell at the end of your meal okay. if you're going to do it, to be safe. Oh, you know what, I think, I think if I have to send it back, I'm like, hey, you know, I do apologize. This is something that I do not enjoy or is overcooked or undercooked. You can say something then. But once the server gets back to the table and you got something else to say and this and the next plate is messed up, there might be a you problem. It might not be a service problem. It might be a you problem. Because I can take things once. If it's not still right the second time, I'm just going to go ahead and eat it. It is what it is. Um, well, I still leave a good 20% tip. That's me. I'm normal. If they, they have to be really bad for me to leave a 10% tip, like really bad. But other than that, I was going to say, especially with tipping, I think that's my thing. My rule of thumb, maybe because we were in the industry so long, is 20% is my standard tip. That is not if you did a great job or anything. 20% is the standard. That is you doing your job. I got my food. I was satisfied. Service was decent. If we are having some issues, maybe... Like, I don't think I've ever really gotten to a point where I, I've tipped anything under maybe 15%, just oh. simply because I know how breakdown works on the back end. Oh, yeah. of, of like, it's not just the server taking it's home like, the tip. There are multiple people making money definitely. off of that tip, and it does suck, which I probably... So we're gonna point, have we'll a talk, podcast I was going to say, we'll talk about tipping later, but I'm pretty sure like how that works, and when you don't tip, how that affects the server. And, and they end up paying for your table. So I think 20% for me, if you give great, if you give great service, I'm looking at 25, 30%. Because again, if you go out to eat, you are, you, I mean, you're going out for a service, not just the food, but for a full service. Someone preparing that food, bringing it to you, serving you, clearing your dishes, you pay for all of it. So be prepared be nice. to pay. You know, I, well, you know, I do have like a couple, it was a family came in Rip and Rammy, the pizza wasn't right, the steak wasn't right, sent the pasta back, it was this, and literally left me like, what, $5 off a $70 tab, like it was my fault, even though we did take off the food and try to offer free dessert, and they came back the following week, and guess what, they got, what, 5% service from me, okay, 5% service is going to say, hello, drop your drink, you better be happy I run in your food, and hope that I come back to the table with your food on time. And that was it. And guess what? Tip got better after that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I take that too. You have those customers too that even though I've had older customers or people that only tip 10%, but they're nice. Yeah. They don't really ask you for much. They come in. They pretty much get the same thing. They ask me how my day is. They don't really bother me too much. Hey, I'll take your 10%. Okay. You didn't cause me any trouble. You had a meal. We had a good time. You, we were all genuinely respectful. I'm okay with that. Because, again, everyone wants to enjoy going out. Just stay within those means. Ooh. And be nice. Again, ultimately, well, if, be nice. Well, if you're at certain restaurants. So, I would say, like, if, I, if you're at a five-star restaurant, fine. Then you trust them to pack your food. But if you're at a basic restaurant, like a 2.5 or 3-star restaurant, I don't don't want to go back there and prepare your food. This is not that it, okay? Your tab can be 30 bucks, okay? Do you want me to touch your food with my hands? Is that what you want? I was going to say, my rule, of, <laughs> my rule of thumb for that one is definitely if they offer to pack your food, then that is a service that they do. If they bring you boxes to the table, I would suggest not asking them to pack your food. Because <laughs> 90% of the time, it's not a policy and they do not have a packing station a packing station is literally set up that is clean sanitized strictly for packing food with gloves and things like that so if you just hand someone your plate and say can you do this for me they may be next to a trash can putting your food in a to-go you don't know unfortunately 
<laughs> like, that's things. a real thing. You like, see if, things. And yeah. you're like, do I want that person handling my food in real life? No. Because you don't know where their hands been. I've seen a lot of stuff. I don't know where their hands been. I've seen a lot of people walk out the restaurant without washing their hands. That's just nasty as it is. And a lot of people are going to sit here and say, well, that's the restaurant's job. It's the employee's job to be responsible and things like that. But as you, as you make that comment, how many times have you not been responsible in something you should have done? I'm just saying, ultimately, again, it is, it is always a slippery slope. Anything when it comes to dealing with food or things you ingest that are being prepared for you. Like, okay, so we had went to a seafood place, right? Uh-huh. Ordered me a little sec. That's how to dress the bottle up, everything. Okay. They had it where you can kind of see them in the back. They like a prep station and stuff. Not a problem. I know she, take, she took a little minute, which is fine. You know, I'm not too picky. So they open up a door and I see her eating a sandwich with mayonnaise and shit. And she's taking a bite out and she looks at us and was like, oh, I forgot to get their drinks. So instead of her putting the sandwich down and going to wash her hands and make sure it's clean, she literally goes like this and puts the hand in the salt and it dresses up my Dos Equis. Oh, and it brings God. me my Dos Equis bottles with mayonnaise on it. How absolutely disgusting is that, right? <laughs> so I call a different server and I was like, hey, you don't have to go tell me or anything, but I just saw her do the most disgusting thing in the world. Can you make me one? I don't want her to touch it and I don't even want her to come back to this table until I get my food from somebody else and I'm out, she can go do whatever she needs to do. So he ended up taking over us. He definitely apologized and I did take off my beer because he said that is cross contamination and we all know that. And I'm not that drunk BI to actually be like, oh, it's okay. No, it's not okay. So, no, I, I expect the same service I give, but I also expect you to have some damn sense. Wash your hands. You know, if you have to pack some ice, we put some gloves on. Or um, tell the guests, like, sorry, you box it. We're not responsible for it um, as a restaurant. And you have a wonderful day. Correct. Not condoning the bad behavior, but again, definitely hygiene is important. Make sure you wash your hands. Handle people's food with care. Um... Treat it like how you would want someone to treat you. I, when I go out to eat, I expect the same type of service that I get um, or I give when I was in the industry or um, just a little grace sometimes to always know that mistakes do happen. People are human. Things are going to happen. <laughs> Allow someone that to part. fix it. I mean, there are some things that are big mistakes. Like if I give you, if I tell you I have a nut allergy then, then and you mess that up, that is totally different. But outside of small things, sometimes people just breathe, be nice, let people apologize for things. I've, I've waited tables and served somebody something they're like, oh my God, I'm so, so sorry. And the reaction that you get from someone when they say you're, that you sincerely apologize and they still blow up. From there, it only goes downhill from there because you, you not only at that point, you've now embarrassed me a second time. I'm already apologetic for what I've done, but now you are being just simply rude. That's when it gets bad because from there, you have no idea. Yeah, okay, I may go back and remake your food, but you piece of shit, look at how you just handled me today. I'm like, today just might not be the best day. And you never know. Hey, people have had bad days. People can do some things. Like, you can smile on your face. Okay, no problem. I'll get right back to you, Susan. And you can go on the back like, fuck that stupid bitch. She can kiss my ass. I can't wait till you fuck with her food. I hope she enjoys it. I hope she choke on a bone. And that's what you're going to get behind the scenes if you're one of those people. Or if you order chicken wings. If you like them crispy, fine. We'll make them crispy. If they're not good, don't eat eight of them and send two back and want a whole another one and then send those back and then get another one. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you something old that's been sitting in the window and hope that you actually enjoy it. I might take your food back, retoss that bitch, and give it right, right back to you if you want to keep acting like that. Wow. Yes. Retoss it because we will and we can't. I'm not saying I have. No, I have not messed with anybody's food. But it's been done before. I've seen it done. Am I a snitch? No, but I am letting you know some secrets that the service industry does have, you know? That's why I don't here. think we were snitches back then. I think as we probably grew in the industry and got <laughs> into management, I think definitely I feel like every, I guess that's a different topic though, every manager should work in the industry. I feel like managers that come in and have never served in the service industry have no idea. It's harder to manage that way. So for sure with 
hygiene, I think we just know the okay. tricks. <laughs> I'm like, don't do that. Like, don't mess up anybody's food. Don't play with it. Let's do it right. Y'all tell the guests, like, hey, you know, I'm like, hey, I just like to be casual. You never know what somebody might do to your food. So just try to be aware and stay conscious and nice to your server because you never know if somebody is going through something. They might snap or they want to... Um, Poison somebody. I mean, you're gonna get it. I mean, it's just, it, this is the industry. It's been done around all realms, and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. and, so, the, and there are a ton of different people in the service industry. You have no idea who you're dealing with. You don't know these people. You don't know what their last hour or day could have been like. And you are rude for yeah. Well, you, are, you are definitely playing Russian roulette <laughs> with your food and your life. And there are some there are some tricks like there are some service industry tricks yes. that will make people sick that people have done. Like I promise you, you send that drink back and say that it's not strong enough. I'm telling you right now, you're only getting what the recipe is called for to get. If you want extra liquor or you want it stronger, those are extra shots. And the only trick, your drink not strong enough. You know what we're gonna do is if you have a straw in that drink. I'll pour those down the straw, so and that's, that's it. Ship. For that is really strong, and then your drink is strong. I promise you, ninety percent of the time, those drinks are never remade. And it might not even be the same alcohol, and that's the issue. They're gonna give you something cheap, throw it in there, and call it a day. But being picky can get you somewhere. We're just asking you guys to be aware, and we're asking all service industry to try to be understanding about some people and their. Ways, pickiness, pickiness, ways, bouginess, hoodness. I was like, I, I'm particular about things, but again, if I'm particular about certain things, I'm going to make it clear in the beginning, Definitely. let you know, and then I'm also still going to be respectful. Please and thank you goes a long way when people are serving your food. Okay. Um, and both people. ways, even for the servers, you still, like, please and thank you goes a long way, both ways. People are nice. But I'm given the same energy you give me. If I walk up to your table nice and I get bullshit, the nice goes out the window and that you get part. bullshit with me. Because it may start off with, hi, how's your day? Nice to meet you. If you hit me with that dryness, the next thing you go, you ready to order? Okay, you're going to get bare minimum. <laughs> How you want that cooked? Okay. Like, we're, I'm, we're matching energy. I, I might not even just... Uh, place to play. I might just throw the shit. Like, here we go. Let it slide. No, push that to your mama. You could enjoy. All right, and walk away. Like, you're you're gonna get 2.5 star service out of me if we so, act like that. Just be cautious how you treat people. Um, consider how your people are preparing your food and your drinks. Uh, be nice. Be clean. Be, be safe. Clean. Well, thank you guys for this episode of Let's Dish It Out. Once again, it's your girl, I Drip Ish and Paulette. <laughs> All right, you're going to see a lot more of us. We're going to have the tips come out pretty soon, the tip percentages, and what kind of service you get, four percentages. We'll let you know that one the next time, okay? Y'all have a good one. Bye, y'all. Bye. Oh, I'm happy.